Hello, this is Sal. And today, we will be configuring PAP and CHAP. Password Authentication Protocol PAP and Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol CHAP are both used to authenticate point-to-point -point protocol sessions and can be used with many VPNs. PAP works like a standard login procedure. The remote system authenticates itself to the using static user name and password combination. In today's video, we will practice configuring point-to-point -point protocol encapsulation on serial links, and we will configure point-to-point -point PAP authentication and point-to-point -point a protocol CHAP authentication. On router 1 and router 3, if we run this command, we can notice that we are using a static route and a dynamic route. And the same with router 2 here, if we run this command, it show run. Also, we are using a static route and a dynamic ERGRP route here. And from PC0, we can run the uh, ping to the server. And it is a successful. And the same, we can run it from the PC of 192.168.20.2 on this network. Or let me try to access the web server. Here, 172.16.1.2. And we can do it from here too. Now, let's configure point-to-point -point protocol as an encapsulation method with the uh, router 3. Let's uh, enter uh, this command on router 1. Uh, configure terminal. Now on the interface of serial 000, encapsulation point PPP. And it, as you can see now, it uh, the ERGRP neighbor relationship went down because on this server, if you run this command, uh, show interface serial zero, uh, zero, zero. Here, as you can see, the encapsulation here on router one is point to point protocol. And, but here on router three, still using the standard or the default one, uh, show interface serial zero 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 on router three here's the encapsulation is still on router uh, three is hdlc so now on router uh, also now on router two we will run the same configure terminal interface Serial 001 encapsulation PPP. So also it went down. Now on router 3, we will configure the point to point encapsulation on the three interfaces on the three serial links the one with router 1 and the one with router 2 and with the internet router. So now on router 3, we we'll start with the one. Uh, facing router one on the face serial zero 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 encapsulation PPP and as you can see uh, the adjacency using the routing protocol ERGRP establishing a neighbor relationship with router one is back up. Now let's see if it will do the same with the with router two here interface serial zero zero one encapsulation PPP and the same happened here it's back up and let's do the same with the internet router the interface of serial 010 encapsulation PPP now it went down because we are we still need to configure uh, here on router 3, the encapsulation is point-to-point -point protocol, but on the internet, it is still 
uh, the default, which is HDLC. Enable, configure terminal, interface serial 000, zero, zero encapsulation, point to point the protocol, and it is back up as you can see here. Now, uh, from the PC, let's see if we can ping again the web server. Yes, we can, because all the routers now are using the encapsulation point-to-point -point protocol. Now it's time to configure point-to-point uh, -point authentication on the network between router 1 and router 3. We will use encrypted passport. Now on router 1 here, uh, configure terminal, username, R3, and instead of password, we'll use the secret password of CCNA. Now on the interface of serial 000, point to point protocol authentication, we'll use that password authentication protocol. Now it went down. Now PPP, tap, sent, username for the router local router which is router 1 and the password of Cisco now we are done on router 1 now let's go to router 3 now a username router 3 with the connection with router 1 is router 1 and the secret password we said it's Cisco now on the interface facing router 1, between router 3 and router 1, serial 000, PPP authentication app. Now, now it's uh, PPP app. Send username for the local router, router 3, and the password of CC and A. Now let me shut the port down and no shut it. Now the adjacency is back up. Uh, the neighbor relationship using the routing protocol here, URP between router 3 and router 1 is back up. And let me see here. Okay. Now we will configure between the password authentication protocol between router 2 and router 3. Let's go back to router 3. <coughs> Username with router 2, which is R2, and secret, which is Cisco. Now on the interface between router 3 and router 2 of serial 001, PPP authentication app went down PPP app sent user name for the local router of router 3 and the password of CCNA. I'll shut the port down and no shut it. Okay, now on router 2 configuring password authentication protocol. Okay, now between router 2 and router 3. So the username is R3 secret, as we configured it, is CCNA. And on the interface between router 2 and router 3 serial 0, 001. PPP authentication app and PPP app sent username for the local router of router 2 is R2 and password of Cisco. Shut the port and no shut it. And now, as you can see, the ERGRP neighbor relationship between router 2 and router 3 is back up. Now, 
let's configure point-to-point -point CHAP challenge handshake authentication protocol between router 3 and the internet router. So on the internet router, uh, username, sorry about that, uh, username router 3 between the internet router and route the router 3 and the secret of Cisco on the interface between the internet router and router 3 of serial 0 0 0 and point to point authentication now we want to use chat between the internet router and router 3 it is down and shut and no shut now it's back up now let's do it on router 3. Now username is internet with the internet router and the secret of Cisco. Now the interface between router 3 and router 1 of serial 1.0 and PPP authentication Now, as you can see, we configured point-to-point -point protocol, app, password authentication protocol on those serial links between the routers. And as I said, kept saying that it is easy to configure as long as you are following the rules. And I hope you learned something or two from this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumb up. And I'll see you soon on my next video. Wishing you all a nice day. Thank you.